The James Webb Telescope has discovered strong signatures of biological life. At least that's according to UK astronaut Tim Peake, NASA, and actually quite a few other people. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to take a look at Tim Peake talking about it. Uh, another UK scientist, Dr. Becky, also talking about it. And then we're going to look at a NASA article that explains it even further of the details, the nitty gritty of why they think that. So what do you say? Let's jump in. Hello, vetters. Please hit that like button. That helps out this video a lot. Cannot wait to read the comments of what you guys think about this discovery. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, y'all. We put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. Let's go, y'all. All right, just gonna hit this clip. Let's get going, get ready. Statistically, look at the Milky Way, 200 billion stars or so. Milky Way is you know, one of a couple of hundred billion galaxies that we can see in the observable universe. If you just crunch the numbers, the, the chances of life elsewhere are staggering. There's loads of water around. There are lots of um, carbon uh, molecules and compounds floating around the solar system. We've already found 5,000 planets in our local vicinity around stars, um, many of them in their habitable zone where liquid water can exist. Um, I think it's just a matter of time until we find evidence of life elsewhere. In fact, Potentially, the James Webb Space Telescope may already have found that. It's just that they don't want to release those results or confirm those results, perhaps for another year until they can be quite sure. But we found a planet which seems to be giving off strong signatures of biological life. Just in case you didn't notice the, the music they <laughs> outro, they didn't even let him finish his groundbreaking sentence. Um, he's saying the James Webb Telescope, right, has discovered, again, strong signatures of biological life. Why do they think that? Hang on, I got one more clip to just really peg this in, that this is real, y'all, okay? Th this is really happening. That, I think we are going to get, you know, a paper that claims to have strong evidence for a biosignature in an exoplanet's atmosphere very, very soon. Put it this way, it's on my 2024 bingo card, and I would be very surprised if I didn't cross it off. Having said, there you go, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is uh, crazy. So what are the details? So basically, I'm going to read this quote and then dive even further uh, from this article from NASA. Let me move this over here. All right. So it says, these initial web observations also provided a possible detection of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, DMS. And on Earth, this is only produced by life, Right. So basically they found, uh, and the rest of this I actually should read. So the bulk of the DMS in Earth's atmosphere, right, is emitted from phytoplankton in marine environments, right? And so they're basically saying DMS is, we only know that to exist is a byproduct of life, right? That's it. We don't know any other reference for it. So if we're finding that on the planet, right, we're assuming there's some sort of life there that's emitting that. Um, and why do they think this planet? So they found this planet. Look, I'm going to show you this picture right here. I use that in the thumbnail. Exoplanet K218b. So it's around the sun. The sun is called K218. And the planet is K218b, right? So, And they're saying on this planet, right? Um, look, a new investigation with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope into K218b, an exoplanet, 8.6 times as massive as Earth has revealed the presence of carbon-bearing molecules, including methane and carbon dioxide. Webb's discovery adds to recent studies suggesting that K218b could be a, I don't know how to say that, Hycian exoplanet, Hycian exoplanet, one which has the potential to possess a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and a water-ocean-covered surface. Right. So that's nuts, y'all. And then on top of that, again, on top of that, they found the DMS. Right. So but they're saying they need more time to confirm that. Right. So they can confirm about the exoplanet, but they need to confirm the DMS. I mean, that's quite a. What do you call it? That's quite a. um statement to make right so they're like we got to be sure um look this says 
our findings underscore the importance of considering diverse habitable environments in the search for life elsewhere. Uh, explained Niku, an astronomer at the University of Cambridge and lead author of the paper announcing these results. Traditionally, the search for life on exoplanets has focused primarily on smaller rocky planets, but the larger Hycian worlds are significantly more conducive to atmospheric observations. The abundance of methane and carbon dioxide and shortage of ammonia support the hypothesis that there may be a water ocean underneath a hydrogen-rich atmosphere in K218b. These initial web observations also provided a detection of a molecule called dimethyl sulfide DMS on Earth. This is only produced by life, y'all. Woo! Now, it could be basic life, right? They're talking about phytoplankton. That's where we get most of it here. Um, but man, that's exciting, y'all. That is just like absolutely crazy. It says, while K2B lies in the habitable zone and is now known to harbor carbon-bearing molecules, this does not necessarily mean that the planet can support life. The planet's large size with a radius 2.6 times the radius of Earth means that the planet's interior likely contains a large mantle of high-pressure ice, like Neptune, but with a thinner, hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean surface. Hycean worlds are predicted to have oceans of water. However, it is also possible that the ocean is too hot to be habitable or be liquid. That's interesting. It says, although this kind of planet does not exist in our solar system, sub-Neptunes are the most common type of planet known so far in the galaxy. We have obtained the most detailed spectrum of a habitable zone sub-Neptune to date, and this allowed us to work out the molecules that exist in its atmosphere. Wow. So it's saying, characterizing the atmospheres of exoplanets like K218b, meaning identifying their gases and physical conditions, is a very active area in astronomy. I mean, this is just absolutely phenomenal, y'all, right? Like, the idea that... This James Webb telescope is doing this work out there. Look, I know what we discuss on this channel, but let's be real. This is absolutely exciting news, right? I mean, it's almost like there's two paths. That one will converge and we'll have this one too. By this becoming mainstream, and if this gets out in the news, this just does nothing. This only helps disclosure, right? This gets the average person excited about that and, and potentially confirming, right, life outside of Earth. Um, but in a way that we can all agree is confirmation. Because right now we have, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, right? I don't have any confirmation. I don't have absolute evidence on where we are i think i that the you know x and x is happening i don't know for sure right none of us do david grush has told us but we just we haven't seen the evidence yet right this is just something we can all get behind i'm just excited you know i hope y'all are excited I'm, I'm very curious to read the comments um about this and how you really like how do you think this can help disclosure how do you think this can help people try to understand some of the topics we discuss on this channel, right? Because, you know, I was having a conversation with a friend today about spirits and, you know, like the spiritual component, right, to this. And like, what does that mean, right? Because it's like, well, how do they know they're spirits? What are they seeing that makes them think they're spirits, right? The people that are saying this. Right, like who, who, what? Is it an apparition? So in your mind, that's a spirit? Did they tell you they're a spirit? Did they put themselves in physical form? Was there multiple? Like, how do you know that there's a spiritual component? What does that mean? Again, they're coming in your consciousness. I mean, what does that mean, spirit? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, and then and they say demons, right? All of this. Well, how? What? What do they look like? What? What is the, how many? Is it just one? Is a whole race? Are we talking with them? I don't understand. So I just hear so many stories about that. So I was thinking about that, right? Because I, in my mind, 
it's much easier for me to accept something like this as life. Like I, I just always expected life to come from another planet and come here like, you know, Columbus on the May, you know, Mayflower or whatever he was on, um, you know, and land and see new people. And right. Like that, that's just what I imagine. Spaceship coming in, landing. That's life on another planet. Right. Like like they're coming from Japan uh, to me anyway. Right. Like it's just another place, physical place that I can imagine. Right. Because I only have to get through sort of one door to sort of accept that. That seems easy for me to accept. And something like this. But then the spiritual and all this, there's a lot to me, right? I have no reference for that. So one, I have to get over that fact of how plausible that is. And then two, accept that that's real, right? There's two, there's just more steps in that for me mentally. So I can then critique it. But at the same time, I started to think, well, wait a second. How are they knowing that they're spirits? How, how is that being, like, what are they, are they being told? Like, the spirit's telling them, hey, I'm a spirit. Is that the word he's using? Or what words? Or, or is it just spirit-like, right? It's some sort of apparition, so we're just calling it a spirit? Or how do we know these are the same beings from, right? They're saying the Bible and other religions and what? They've been here thousands of years. Like, how do we know? They're telling us? I don't know. And could they be lying? Are they capable of not telling the truth? Deceiving us? Um, again, I just really want to know, like, how do we know their spirits? Again, there's just a lot for me to accept there. So that's why I'm excited about things like this. Um, plus, it's an easy way to get into a conversation with somebody. That's how I got into the conversation with my friend who's not into this you know, topics so much, just kind of in ways like this, like the idea of life at, out in the universe. Yes, you can have that conversation with just about anybody, right? Are we alone? Eh, I don't think so. I mean, most people do not think we're alone, right? Like at all. But the second question, like, have we been visited? That's where the conversation is, right? Let's be real. So with something like this, it's like, hey, you know, look, we're starting to prove what's going on because the James Webb telescope was so powerful, Right. I mean, we were able to see almost to the edge of the universe. And, you know, we were able to just get in a small portion of the sky, y'all. All of these planets and all this stuff. And we're already finding biosignatures and this. Now, are you kidding me? I mean, life is, te in my opinion, life is teeming out there. I mean, there's just so much life, you know. So, I don't know, man. Um, you know, I'm curious what y'all think about what I said in the comments about uh, the spirit stuff, like how do we know their spirits? Like maybe somebody can help me. How are we defining that, right? Like what, where, how, what, wh wh who defined that? Like what, you know what I mean? Um, anyway. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, I'm curious to read the comments. What y'all think of this? I'm excited. I mean, this is going to be a crazy year, y'all. We've got potentially, how nutty would that be? Our whole history of humanity, we've never discovered life elsewhere or at least confirmed it. And this year could potentially the James Webb Telescope, right? Like NASA, the mainstream science, like, yep, we got life outside and disclosure happens. Oh shit, we've actually got alien crap we've been hiding to all in the same year. You know what I mean? I mean, that's nuts. That's a lot happening. It's like winning the lottery, you know? Uh, in that sense, we just get all this. It's it's a little overwhelming, but in a, in a way, it kind of makes sense. I mean, it's like when we sent out, we started ex exploring space. Look how much we started to learn. We went to the moon and we, you know, we got, uh, you know, things floating out there and satellites and we go check out other planets and we've we got the James telescopes out there and Hubble and I mean, it's great, right? All the observatories and so it kind of makes sense that it would just start to snowball all of this stuff and we just start to get all this information. But again, it's that spiritual component and aspect that I'm having a tough time computing because again, it's, it's life like this, life from another planet, even potentially that it's coming from the under the ocean and underground, I can, and underground, I can, that is easy for, easier for me to wrap my head around. Now again, I'm not saying just because I can't wrap my head around it, it's not true. Just, being open of where I'm at mentally, right, about this. Just saying it's a lot harder to just jump to the next spot of, oh, okay, that's then that's it. It's spirits because they said it's spirits. 
But again, how, who are we confirming with that they're spirits? Do we double check that or people, right? How do we know, again, who is saying the word spirits? Where is that coming from? How do we know that? So again, tell me in the comments, y'all. Tell me what y'all think of James Webb Telescope and what's happening with this. Can't wait to read them, y'all. Okay, remember, every day's a gift. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. We'll see you on the next video, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, y'all. Tomorrow, every day's a gift, y'all. Peace.